Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the brand new 7 star terror raid event for Hisuian Samurai that's coming to Scarlet and Violet later this week, as well as some of the best Pokemon that you're going to be able to put together in your game to solo this with when the event goes live. So kicking off on Friday the 24th of November and running through this weekend until the 26th, we're going to see the first phase of the Hisuian Samurott come to Scarlet and Violet. It'll be the first time you'll be able to catch this Hisuian Pokemon in game and it will return the following weekend from the 1st of December until the 3rd. So two times you're going to have the opportunity to take advantage of getting this Pokemon in game. The Hisuian Samurott is going to be level 100. It will likely have its hidden ability, which this time around will be sharpness and it will have that multiplier to its HP sitting around 9360 and it's going to have the water terror typing meaning that it will be weak primarily to grass and electric type attacks now the move options that the hisuian samurai is likely going to have is going to be things that take advantage of that sharpness ability sharpness increases any slicing type attacks by 50 percent so it gives them an increased damage output meaning that that's probably going to be the gimmick that we see the hisuian samurai take advantage of in this raid now, Aqua Cutter, Razor Shell falling to that slicing category along with Air Slash, Ceaseless Edge and Sacred Sword. There are a few options that we could potentially see the Hisuian Samurott run this weekend. And if we reference the Samurott raid that we had earlier in the year, we can probably take a lot of reference points from that raid with what to expect when this Hisuian Samurott goes live later this week. Now, Aqua Cutter is going to have an increased critical hit chance as well as being a slicing type move. So we'll get the boost from sharpness and if we do see something like focus energy on the Hisuian Samurai, it's going to be a very dangerous attack. Now Razor Shell is something that also gets the boost from that sharpness ability being a slicing type attack but it does have the added bonus of potentially lowering your defense every time it hits you. So that is something to just keep in mind when you're building Pokemon or putting EVs together in particular. Razor Shell could be a little bit of a different option than the Aqua Cutter. Now, I think it will depend on what the strategy is that the Hisuian Samurai goes down. If it goes down a Focus Energy route, it's more likely to be the Aqua Cutter rather than the Razor Shell. But if the Focus Energy isn't there, I would imagine Razor Shell is the option that it would rely on. Air Slash is a slicing move, so we'll get that sharpness boost that gives flying coverage and it gives you coverage against grass type Pokemon. So meaning that grass types are going to have a much harder time coming to this raid to be able to beat this water terror type. Ceaseless Edge is its signature attack. You can guarantee that it will be there. And again, with Ceaseless Edge, it does have the advantage of dropping spikes or a layer of spikes onto the field every time you use it. So you've got to keep in mind if it's used Ceaseless Edge a few times, if you do faint and come back onto the field and there's three layers of spikes there, it's going to take 25% of your damage when you just enter the field. So it's imperative if it is utilizing that move like you probably will do it, you don't want to be fainting too many times because it's going to put you at a massive deficit just coming onto the field with those spikes in effect. Sacred Sword gives it coverage as well. It is another move that takes advantage of that sharpness ability. So maybe we see that there. Then Drill Run gives you coverage against the electric type attacks. That is a ground type attack and move. It doesn't get the sharpness boost. And then the special type attacks along with that air slash or Ice Beam and Hydro Pump that regular Samurai did use earlier in the year as a, an alternative Primarily, the Hisuian Samurai are likely going to be a physical attacker, but there's nothing to say it might not be mixed like the Samurai was previously, and it just gives it a different option. Obviously, Ice gives it coverage against Grass types along with that Air Slash, and then Hydro Pump is just another option of a water type attack that it can take advantage of from that terror typing as well. The support options, we've already mentioned the focus energy boosting critical hit moves because we have got an array of those that Hisuian Samurai can take advantage of. And I think probably one of the more scary aspects going into this raid, Rain Dance is naturally going to boost all the water type attacks that are coming out from the Hisuian Samurai. So likely going to be there as well. Something to consider when you're putting your own builds together in game. It does get access to Sword Stance, so it's going to be able to increase its attack by two stages every time he uses it. And also boost the attack power of things like Aqua Cutter, Razor Shell, and all of those physical type attacks that it does get access to as well. And then Screech could be something that we see at playoff as well. It does get access to that. It can reduce our defense stat by two stages every time it uses it. So it might be an alternative to Swords Dance where it relies on the Screech a bit more than setting up its attack. It relies on lowering our defense to take advantage of things from that side of the field. But like I say, a lot of reference points that we can look at from the Samurai Raid earlier in the year that might be utilized here, but they might change things up going forward. I do expect maybe Drill Run 
and one of the two between Ice Beam and Air Slash to have some sort of coverage against Grass type attacks. But all in all, I think these are the main attacks that we can probably look out for when the Hisuian Samurai goes live later this week. Now, just before we get into the Pokemon builds, I want to just say that there are a lot of different options this Hisuian Samurai can go down course and might be worth you holding off putting anything in game together until the event does go live as always we will be doing a best solo build video once the event goes live once we've done that testing phase to figure out what the Hisuian Samurai is actually using and what the best Pokemon is to solo this with in your game. So maybe hold off using any resources or putting builds together beforehand. But if you do, you want some ideas or just some inspiration, I've got a few builds now that we'll cover that I think are going to be potentially good going into this raid this weekend. Of course, we'll start off with the grass types. The big caveat, of course, we've already mentioned in the overview is Air Slash and Ice Beam. If we do see those two options or one of those two options, it could make it difficult. Some of the grass type options that we've got here to perform as well as what we would like. But of course, like we've seen with other seven star terror raids in the past, Hisui and Typhlosion, we 100% expected to see something like Solar Beam there and it just wasn't there. So it might not be an option that the Hisuian Samurai takes advantage of in this raid, meaning that the grass types are going to be the better option going into it. But like I said before, it might be a better idea holding off putting anything together until the event goes live itself. So we know exactly what the Hisuian Samurai is going to run and what strategy it's going to go with. But as always, all of the builds that we feature in today's video will be down in the description so you can take a closer look at those after the video if you would like to. Uh, the first Pokemon that we're going to feature is going to be Gorgord, Grass type, Grass Terra type. It will be level 100 and hyper trained. Remember, they're always just the important baselines that we do with all these builds. It will have the held item of the Terrain Extender as well. So that plays off our moveset, which is going to be Grassy Terrain Bulk Up. Tail Whip and Horn Leech and if you're wondering what Terrain Extender does it means that you get eight turns of terrain on the field rather than the five that you would get without that item so just three more turns which is quite important for the ability that we've got on this Gorgod which is going to be Grass Pelt. Now Grass Pelt gives you a 50% boost to your defense stat as long as the grassy terrain is in effect so the terrain extender really helps out with that as well and takes away the reliance on needing some partner like the Arbolivia. If you've got Arbolivia and you're partnering Pokemon if you're going into solo this makes this whole strategy a lot easier and probably saves you a turn of setting up the grassy terrain in the first instance and just to be aware the grass pelt is a hidden ability on the Gorgod so you're going to have to use an ability patch to get access to this hidden ability uh, with the Gorgod but a very good ability nonetheless and the rest of the moveset is going to be bulk up that's going to be able to boost our defense give us a bit of stability against this big physical threats that are coming out from the Hisuian Samurai and also a way to boost our attack so that's a nice way to just increase our damage output Tail Whip is an option there as well to lower the defense by one stage on the Hisuian Samurai. It won't work through the shield, so you just keep that in mind as well. And you could also interchange this for something like Milk Drink if you wanted, or Synthesis to give you a line of recovery there. But I don't really feel like you need it with the Horn Leech. It's going to give you 50% recovery anyway every time you use it, as well as getting a power boost from the grassy terrain that's on the field as well. The EV spread is going to be 252 in HP, 252 in defense with an adamant nature and the six remaining EVs put into attack. And that is going to be the go gold. But I think basically a very good build here going into this raid. I think the terrain really gives a boost to your defenses, to your attack power. You've got bulk up to kind of shore up your defenses, boost your attack as well. And then the tail whip to kind of lower the defenses of the Hisuian Samurai. All in all, a very decent Pokemon to take into this raid, especially with the ability. Next up is going to be Arbolivia, another grass type Pokemon. Again, grass terror typing. This time we've got the held item of the expert belt. We've got the move set of Sunny Day, Growth, Reflect, and Giga Drain. So going down more of a special centered route rather than the physical route of the Gorgord. Uh, the basic premise of this moveset is going to be to Sunny Day Turn 1. That's going to reduce the attack power of any water type attacks coming out from the Hisuian Samurai. And then Growth's really going to take advantage of that. Growth gives you an attack and a special attack boost by one stage every time you use it. But if it's used under the sun when that's active on the field, you get plus two to your attack and your special attack. So a really quick way to set your special attack up. A Reflect is there to give you a little bit of stability against those big physical type attacks that could come out from the Hisuian Samurai. And then Giga Drain is going to be there to give you a nice damage output. It's going to take advantage of the grassy terrain it's set up through that Seed Saw, our ability, as well as the recovery there as well. So you've got a really good way to stay on the field for as long as possible while you're consistently doing good damage to the Hisuian Samurai. 
The EV spread again is going to be like the Gold Gold. It's going to be a modest nature this time with 252 in HP, 252 in defense, and the rest put in special attack. The only things that you need to watch out for with the Gorgod and the Arbolivia, if the Hisuian Samurott has access to the Ice Beam or the Air Slash, might make these two very difficult to bring to this raid. Next up is Moraidon. Probably the most confident I am with any of these builds going into this raid this weekend. I think between the Dragon and Electric typing that it has access to, it's perfectly built to go in against the Hisuian Samurott. The Dragon typing going to give you the resist to those water type attacks that can come out from the Hisuian Samurott. And just with its general base stats, because it is a legendary Pokemon, going to be able to take attacks very well compared to some of the other options in this video. We've got the held item of the Magnet. That's going to power up our electric type attacks. Level 100, hyper trained as always with electric terror typing. And then the moveset is going to be Metal Sound, Reflect, Calm Mind and Parabolic Charge. Hidden Engine is the ability and the EV spread is going to be 252 HP, 252 Special Attack with a modest nature and the rest put into defense. So the basic premise of this set is going to be using and utilizing those metal sounds. It's going to get the special defense down by two stages every time you use it on the Hisuian Samurott. Of course, remember that it won't work through the shield if that is set up. So you primarily want to get that off before the shield goes up. And then you can take advantage of your calm mind that's going to boost your special attack and special defense by one stage you use it meaning that your damage output is going to be increased you've got reflect there as well which is going to give you a little bit of a buffer against those physical type of attacks that can come out from the hisuian samurott so you'll be able to stay on the field a little bit longer and then utilize that parabolic charge it's going to be your main attacking option it's going to be boosted by the electric terrain that's on the field from your ability and also restoring 50% of the damage done. So meaning that you're going to stay healthy, get this strategy executed and chip away at the Hisuian Samurott pretty effectively throughout the raid. I think the only thing that you're going to have to worry about from the Hisuian Samurott uh, is the potential Ice Beam that could come out. That is going to be a threat to you until you terrestrialize. And also Drill Run as well that is an option there and the Hisuian Samurott that can do super effective damage. But again, you should be able to take that pretty well with the Reflect up intact. Drill Run isn't boosted by that sharpness ability and also it isn't a stab move as well. So you shouldn't be taking too much damage overall. But Mariadon, I would say most confidently, if you're wanting to put one build together to go into this raid this weekend, it would be this one. I feel most confident about this one doing a good job against the Hisuian Samurott. Next up, another grass type and a familiar one that we've had a lot of success with from previous seven star raids as Appleton. It did such a good job against the seven star Chestnut and it could do just as good a job against the Hisuian Samurott this weekend. There's going to be a grass and dragon type Pokemon. It's going to have a quad resist to water type attacks. It is going to have the grass terror typing there as well. Expert Belt is the held item level 100 and it will have the moveset of Sunny Day, Growth, Apple Acid and Giga Drain with an EV spread of 252 in Special Attack, 252 in Defense with a Modest Nature and the rest put in HP. And the ability is going to be its hidden ability this time around and it's going to be Thick Fat. That will just reduce the attack power and damage that you're going to take from any Ice type attacks from that Samurott. Because being a Grass and a Dragon type Pokemon until you Terrastalize, you're going to have a quad weakness from Ice type attacks. So that could be pretty problematic. You're going to want to be able to reduce that as much as possible. Thick Fat reduces that enough to allow you to kind of execute your strategy. The other thing that you're going to have to keep in mind is that the Air Slash could be quite problematic for this Appleton. If there's no Air Slash, I think Appleton can do a very good job against the Hisuian Samurott. And next up is Bellybolt, a very good defensive Pokemon, and it's got the ability to kind of sit in the field for a long period of time and throw out a lot of damage and has the ability to kind of recover while you're executing your setup as well. Going to be an Electric type, Electric Terror type. And it will have the held item for this particular build of the metronome with a move set of electric terrain acid spray mud slap and parabolic charge and we've got the electromorphosis ability essentially giving you a charge boost every time you take an attack and then you're attacking the next turn after that so really nice ability there to take advantage of with an ev spread of 252 hp 252 special attack and the rest put in defense with a modest nature actually one more bonus that will feature today if we do see um, the Hisuian Samurott go for more of a focus energy centered strategy. Something that could be quite useful against this Pokemon could be an Anger Point Pokemon. Now I've picked out Primeape here 
We have given the EVR lights. We'll get a 50% boost to its defense stats. We've got the electric terror typing on here as well. Level 100, of course. And it will have the moveset of Sunny Day, Screech, Drain Punch, and Thunder Punch. Anger Point as the ability. So if you do take a critical hit, you will instantly get a plus 6 boost to your attacking stats. And an EV spread of 252 HP, 252 defense with an adamant nature. As well as the rest of those EVs put into attack as well. So the basic premise is you're going to be faster naturally than the Hisuian Samurott. You're going to be able to get your sunny day before it attacks you it'll reduce the damage of those water type attacks then you can utilize something like the screech get the defense down on that hisuian samurai two times every time you use it ideally if you can get it down to minus six before the shield goes up that would be brilliant and then you're going to utilize a combination of drain punch which is going to give you a line of recovery and the thunder punch which is going to hit it for super effective attacks until you can terrestrialize and then just constantly use that thunder punch to do big damage and this is just in case we do see it go down the line of that focus energy it could be a really good option to go with uh, the water breed taurus as well as an option but it doesn't really have the attacks to take advantage of you're relying more on the terror blast there and something like trailblaze which are a little bit weaker than the thunder punch that you get access to on the prime ape that could be a decent option but all in all like i said before it might be worth holding off putting anything together in your game before the event goes live and we know exactly what to expect from this hisuian samurai but let me know down in the comments what you think the best solo pokemon will be to take this on later this week when it goes live and also if you're planning on putting a pokemon together what that pokemon will be that you think is going to be effective against hisuian samurai when we see it appear in scarlet and violet but thank you so much for taking the time to come by and watch the video today i hope you've enjoyed it if you have do drop a like do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our pokemon scarlet and violet content i'll see you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye